I was somehow lucky enough to receive an invitation to the Dawn Trail Media Tour, where I was given the opportunity to test out the level 100 iterations of all 21 of the game's jobs. In order to make sure you can get all the information you want quickly, I've sectioned each of my Media Tour videos into three sections. Firstly comes the changes and additions, including tooltips, then I will talk more in depth on how I feel about the jobs. It's here that I'll talk about the various little bits and pieces that I tested, how this will shift their playstyle and give you a bit of a primer of exactly what to expect going into the next expansion. Lastly, at the end of the video, I will have a full list of the job's tooltips from the Media Tour build, including traits. Do please bear in mind that what I played was a development build, and it's totally subject to change, especially potencies, so don't take this as a final product, but it can be very useful to see intention and direction from the developers. Additionally, I had very limited time to test everything, and our play session was at like 400 ping due to needing to route the server access through North America, then all the way to Japan. So what you're going to be seeing from me is definitely not peak gameplay. My apologies, I did the best I could with what we had access to. Machinist got a bunch of small additions on the whole, starting off with a second charge for the Drill or Bioblaster. Additionally, Chainsaw now has a combo associated with it in the form of Excavator. Excavator is another GCD, and after using Chainsaw you have 30 seconds to spend this additional tool. It has the same potency as Chainsaw on the rest of your tool arsenal as well. Heat Blast, Ricochet and Gorse Round all get upgrades in the form of Blazing Shot, Double Check and Checkmate, increasing their potencies and making your hypercharge windows look honestly 10 times cooler than they used to. Barrel Stabilizer was also adjusted. Now instead of providing gauge, it grants you the hypercharged buff with a 30 second duration just allowing you to enter hypercharge whenever you want during that window. It also grants you the full Metal Machinist buff. And yet I appreciate the reference, thanks Square Enix, which leads us on to the next attack. Full Metal Field is their level 100 capstone skill. And just look at this. What on earth? It's just the coolest. This is a GCD combo action that comes off of Barrel Stabilizer, and it's the final tool in your kit. It's affected by Reassemble as well, and this is your strongest tool on the whole at 700 potency, sitting 100 over every other tool. Interestingly, it has the additional effect that damage dealt is increased when under an effect that raises critical hit rate or direct hit rate. Alongside this, Machinist got a bunch of potency buffs on their standard attacks via a trait, a buff to Tactician, in line with all the other ranged physical DPS, increasing the percentage of its overall mitigation offerings, and on top of that they got a strengthening to their self-healing capabilities through a second wind upgrade. One little related note that I tested here as much as I had time to, I know that Machinists will be looking to find out if Wildfire can direct crit now, as it previously couldn't, and it was a bit of a pain point for players of the job. The straight answer? I don't know. I did as many wildfire windows as I could during the limited time I had to test, and I couldn't confirm one, so I assume it's unchanged. I don't have any super insightful or in-depth thoughts about ranged physical DPS like I do about, say, healers, because I didn't have much time with them, so whilst I showcase all of the altered and new tooltips and traits for level 100 machinists here for your viewing pleasure, I first want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, and secondly, I'd love to hear how you think this will change their playstyle. With two new GCD tools to use every minute as well as full metal machinist, your average heat gauge generation is going to go down a little bit, but because of the way the new barrel stabilizer works, it shouldn't inhibit your ability to burst at all. I like machinist a lot, and I actually really am quite a fan of what we've gotten here, so I can't wait to spend a bit more time with it on release. As always, have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day.